For the last speech of FinSpace of the week, please welcome Max Gull from Constellar, a startup specialized in value-added services and temperature monitoring. Max. Yep. Thank you very much for the introduction. Yes, my name is Max. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Constella, which is a joint spin-off of two of Europe's largest research organizations, German Fraunhofer and the German Aerospace Center. At Constella, we're going to answer the emerging need for land surface temperature data. And at the same time, we'll drastically improve humankind's capability to timely act on environmental threats. If you, look at, uh, if you look at the Earth's observation market today, we know that the dominant sources for information are, in fact, visual and radar imagery. And we have amazing imaging capabilities in both regimes already today. There's also rising interest in the thermal infrared to obtain on planet surface temperature, a key environmental variable. However, we're using completely outdated technology to do so, and that is putting a massive constraint on the market as of now. With Constella, we're going to break that limitation by providing the land surface temperature monitoring service fit for the 21st century. The companies asking us for this data are going to use it in various different ways. They're going to use it in urban monitoring, infrastructure monitoring, water monitoring, emergency, plan uh, uh, emergency response applications, and even the financial markets. To give an example, in precision farming, our data is fundamentally important to improve water consumption on the level of a single field globally. Taking into account that about 70% of global fresh water is consumed in agriculture, this is a massive savings potential. Notably, also ESA, NASA, and since we're in France, CNES have recognized the problem we're addressing as well as the societal benefit of the data. So the question is, what is it making so difficult to obtain that data? Basically, the applications have in common that you need three requirements to be fulfilled. You need high spatial resolution to discriminate details. You need shorter visit times to derive trends. And last but not least, you need high temperature accuracy to be reliable. And as of now, none of the current systems is fit for purpose. At Constella, we have developed a patent-pending revolutionizing architecture which is allowing us to miniaturize the necessary technology and put it into very small and cost-effective CubeSats. Which means that now, for the fraction of a cost of one single large satellite mission, we can send dozens and dozens of small satellites into orbit, which are then continuously delivering analytics-ready data, temperature data, for actionable insights across markets and applications. You may argue, however, that there are different other ways to obtain the surface temperature, and you're right. We can stick sensors into the ground, we can fly drones equipped with infrared um, cameras over our fields, but the only globally applicable solution is coming from space. And then notably, a couple of early stage startups, including ourselves, as well as other organizations, which are currently trying to put the necessary capacity into space to obtain exactly that data. What makes us confident to win out in the end is the fact that all of these companies will eventually have to compromise on at least one of the aforementioned requirements, making us the only company which can provide data with a combination of high spatial resolution, shorter visit times, and large system accuracy. But compared to large systems, we're going to be 100 times cheaper and we're going to be scalable. And the scalability is key because the market we are going to enter is a emerging one and it's strongly driven by population growth, by climate change and by agriculture regulations. Following reports of European Union and Euroconsult, we are addressing, we are estimating a total addressable market size of about 1 billion euro by 2026, of which we are confident to obtain around 100 million euro annually. We're confident because the team we're having is not only covering the technical side of things, like space engineering, Earth observation, image processing, but we've also picked up insect knowledge during our time at respective companies, including Airbus, Munich Re, and of course Fraunhofer and the German Aerospace Center. We're currently in the process of incorporation. We have received some initial funding for that. We've also been granted access to the infrared constellation of the German Aerospace Center for technology development and we're currently developing our online data platform to be launched mid next year. Within one year, we are going to raise 1 million euro to perform an in-orbit demonstration of our technology and then going to stepwise increase the coverage driven by the market demands. So to sum up, we are 
and impact investment. And we're going to answer the emerging need for land surface temperature data with unprecedented spatial temporal resolution. We can put the necessary capacity into space at less than 1% of the cost of previous systems using our technology. And we're targeting a serviceable obtainable market of around 100 million euros annually. Within 12 months, we're going to raise 1 million euro to perform an innovative demonstration and verify that technology. And with that, I'd like to thank you very much. Uh, my name is Max from Cancella. I'm looking very much forward to your questions and engaging with you later. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Is there any question in the audience, please? Stefan? Well, you didn't tell us what resolution you plan to achieve, both in uh, thermal right. and geometric. I hope this would have been the first question, and it is. So thank you very much. Um, at the moment, we're looking at the grand, uh, ground sampling distance of 22.5 meters, but with diffraction limits, to, uh, they're limited to 70 meters. Uh, that's a spatial resolution. Um, it's about as good as Landsat 6, which is currently uh, the satellite, so, sorry, 7, with currently the satellite with the highest spatial resolution. And we're targeting 12 hours um, resolution uh, in terms of temporal resolution. And to do so, we would need about 60 satellites in total. Um, we're going to start with around 11 satellites to offer 48 hour visit times at mid latitudes. And the temperature accuracy, this would be the third element, is uh, targeted to be 1.5 Kelvin um, at the land surface temperature, so at the, at the surface. Uh, our detector has something like a radiometric accuracy of about 25 millikelvin. Is this answering your question? Okay. Do we have another question? No? So thank you, Max. Okay. And so we can approve. And the next panel. Yep.